It's about two. It's about two thirty in the morning. Um, Jenny's been trying to go to sleep since probably eight thirty, with no luck. Um, I've been up cleaning and kind of watching her, and she's taking little little breaths, which would say shortness of breath more than her normal lung cancer shortness of breath. So that's concerning. Um, the pain is there, obviously. Um, and her heart rate is through the roof. So we're calling people. Uh, we might go to the ER because um, the heart rate is concerning. This is the day after infusion. So she had the huge pain episode late last night. We got through it. Um, the next day she worked and edited, but Upload. uploaded, but didn't uh, all day. didn't get up at all during the day. Didn't eat much during the day. Um, took all of her pain meds. But here we are, so I feel like, I feel like, I ate, but not enough. yeah, I feel like this drug is super toxic to your body and it's, your body's doing everything in its power to get rid of it and it doesn't, it just doesn't like it, so, don't care about the future, just care about right now, want to make sure you're safe. I think you should call your dad. So we're gonna probably have her dad take her since I'm with the kids. Um, if he doesn't answer, then I'm just putting the kids in the car and let's just go. Well, let's see. They'll be fine. So if you can see behind me, um, uh, we had to call uh, 911. And I'm going to follow. I can't go with her. Um, <clears throat> her shortness of breath got really bad. So I called. And now we're going to the hospital. So I'm blocked in. I got to wait, wait till they move. Um, yeah, she's okay. But um, I don't know. One of the signs on this drug is uh, that it's not doing uh, well is the shortness of breath. So because I saw her breathing get really short, I called 911. Um, and her family came over to watch the kids, so I'm going to go and follow. Um, I will update you guys soon. Prayers please. There's her ambulance there, made it just in time. I just pray she's okay. I'm sure I can't go in that way, so I'm gonna go around. I just wanna see if I could sneak a peek. I'll go around. Thank you. The doctor just came in and told us that blood work looked good and that unfortunately uh, Jenny's pleural effusion that we all know so well is not just under the left lung but she said now it's like all the way up and causing so much that it's pushing the lung and like pushing fluid onto this area um, to where they said they're gonna perform a thoracentesis um, obviously from the past Jenny said three and they've all been extremely painful well, the first one wasn't, 
but we know how the last two went. So um, it's terrifying. We don't know if we're gonna do it at this hospital or if we're gonna be transferred to City of Hope to do it. Uh, we just asked that. And it's still too early to really get in touch with anyone at our hospital that knows her situation. Um, it's about five in the morning, so we're looking at maybe another three hours to get in touch with somebody at our hospital on our team. So, a thoracentesis is in our future. But we can do it. Jenny was given a room or admitted into the hospital. Um, so we're now, oh, we're, I'm with uh, Tracy, <laughs> her cousin who's here and brought coffee and food and just making sure that we're taken care of and that all this, the medical terms and stuff are being done correctly because it's not our hospital. Um, so we're just waiting until we can go into that room. We have a little bit of time. Um, so I thought I'd just film a little bit. Jenny's just in a kind of a zen. Uh, I can tell she's in pain. Doesn't feel great. Um, just uncomfortable. Um, and I'm sure the fear is there of the thoracentesis pain that might be in her future. So. Just hope and pray that uh, it's done as <clears throat> pain-free as possible and that she gets all the treatment she needs afterwards and during to make sure that it's not as painful as it has been in the past. So um, I went to the gift shop to look for something and they had a ladybug bear. And if you guys know, Jenny loves ladybugs. So I thought that was a good sign. So we'll keep you posted, and then we'll follow up with Jenny as soon as we get up in there. <laughs> Love you. It's about one o'clock, and Jenny just went back um, about 40 minutes ago now for the thoracentesis. So we just pray that it's going as smooth as possible, her pain is as minimal as possible, and hopefully her heart rate slows down because the pressure of the fluid will be less on her heart, and I just pray that the pain is manageable. I just pray. Um, they've been amazing here in communicating, and making sure they know exactly what medicine to give her. Um, so I'm really, I feel really fortunate that we're here and they're doing a great job at communicating. So now we just kind of have to wait and hopefully she'll, she'll be back up here when it's done. And I just pray that she's okay. Does it feel like the last one? It's totally different. Really? Of course. It hurt during the during. training. Which it normally doesn't hurt during the training. Uh -huh. It was so bad during the training. Yeah. It's great. You did it. Jenny's back. She made it through. She's in a lot of pain. Why does it hurt me so bad? Why? They say for some people it just does. You're one of them. You made it. You're back in here. You're done with the that part. They're gonna talk about what pain meds to give you. Doing great. You made it through the hard part, I think. Hopefully. This time it was so hard during the draining. Yeah. It was so painful. It was so painful. And the second it started coming out, the fluid, second it went in. Not the second, 
once it started draining. Once it started. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a hell of a lot of fluid your lung was in. And then at the end, <clears throat> like she let me pause a couple times. And then at the end, the only way I got through it was singing in my head, Lord, I need you. <laughs> and Good that's job. what got me it through the end. Good. Your kids would be proud. They're so painful. I don't know why we have to do this. I already do so much. I know. So Jenny's back, doing pretty well. The team here is really awesome, making sure that she's taken care of. Tracy, her amazing cousin, brought us lunch and coffee, and Jenny's eating. She hasn't had an appetite for a while. There's a little ladybug bear that we got at the gift shop. And you're doing okay. You wanna say anything, how you feel? It sounds like I'm gonna spend the night. Yeah, you are. They're gonna check my heart, which scares me because they wanna see if fluid needs drained, correct? Your voice is almost sounding better. I wonder if that had something to do with the fluid building. Yeah. It felt like the fluid. I was playing was, a role in that. Yeah. That's what was making you so scratchy. So, yeah. Right? You it hear that? It felt like. Weird. Okay. Anyway. So I do feel relief. Yeah. Well, I can see it. You weren't able to, like, turn or really. Yeah. <laughs> you look good. You always look good, but you look good. But you're eating food, feeling yeah. okay. The kids are with Ash and Brad. Kids are with Ash and Brad. They said. You might get to have either Tracy or I stay the night, we'll see. If not, it's okay. You told me that you're <laughs> gonna be okay if you have to do it alone. A night away. No. <laughs> but I'm proud of you, you're doing good. You really are. And they're really nice here, and she has, like I, we always say in every video, she has an amazing nurse. I think nurses are just good people. And she's really taking care of her, so feel good. And the doctor's really nice. Yeah, oh yeah, he's so so nice. I'm just scared about my heart. Yeah, it'll be okay. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Jen just finished her ultrasound over the heart. She's a trooper. And Kyle's there with his bloody nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, it is 8 o'clock and my visitors had to leave except our nurse was really nice and got approval from our manager for one visitor to spend the night. Can you guys guess who that lucky visitor is? Drum roll please. Da -da 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 -da. Tracy! It was, me. it was me! My cousin Tracy. <laughs> they were both willing to stay, and I feel guilty having them stay. Like, who wants. To, that's where she's sleeping in a chair. And she's like, literally, this would be my best birthday present because her birthday's coming up, so please. <laughs> and so I said, if you really want to, then. Uh, oh, my lighting. And I do. This is a dream come true to be able to have a sleepover with Jenny. I wish it was under a little bit different circumstances, but I am so grateful to be here and get my birthday wish. So thank hey. you, Jenny. <laughs> Thanks for coming and staying here. It means a lot to me. I love you. She's been here all day. <laughs> she got me food. She uh, She's doing everything, taking care of me, working out schedules and doing all this nice stuff. All right, let's... Let the festivities begin. First up, Dilaudid. <laughs> it is 10 o'clock and I'm going to try to sleep now. We have had some nice cousin chats, which I appreciate. Uh, it's nice having a buddy here, which Tracy has always been my buddy. <laughs> when we grew up, our, our moms were twins and my Auntie Kimmy had three kids. My mom had three kids. Tracy and I were both the middle kids, so we were buddies. 
they paired the two oldest as buddies, Tracy and I as buddies, and then uh, the two youngest as buddies. So she's always been my buddy. So it was nice having a sleepover with my buddy. Thanks for coming, Trace. And um, hopefully we can get some sleep tonight. I don't know how you're gonna do in that chair, but <laughs> she says she's good. We'll see. And then hopefully I do well. Oh, okay. I get a lounge. Yeah, she's got a fancy chair. Okay, it's a little better than I thought. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you. Bye. It's about 11 o'clock. And Tracy, Jenny's cousin, stayed through the entire night and took such good care of her and kept us all updated um, to let us know that Jenny did very well through the night. Vitals all looked really good. Um, and now I'm here today, kind of relieved Tracy. This morning I drove down to City of Hope to, to get uh, Jenny's pain medication that we can only get there. And then um, I had therapy, so I did therapy in the courtyard of this hospital, Jenny's current hospital which went well, and then now I get to be with her. We're hoping that Jenny gets to go home today. We haven't really heard from anyone today, um, except for the nurses. So we hope we get that news that she can go. We're waiting on a few things. And Jenny's just feeling zonked. So tired. Tired. I'm so sore. Yeah. I'm so sad. I just want to go home. Be with your babies. Yeah. This never ending fluid scares me so bad because it hurts so bad to get it removed. At least it hurts me, I know not everyone. Yep. I feel it too. But hopefully we can at least go home today. I pray we can worry about all the scary stuff later. <laughs> just want you to be able to go home. Hospital stays are always so miserable, you know? I'm thankful for everybody here, but I just want to go home. I just want you to be home. The weekend came in. <laughs> I thought that was funny. The weekend doctor came in. Uh, super nice and just did a quick little evaluation on her and said that she looks good to go home as long as we get the cardiologist to look over her ultrasound of her heart yesterday. Um, if that looks okay, then they'll get her to go home. So we're just waiting on that. No idea when that's gonna be. But it was promising. It is Saturday evening and we are home. I still don't feel well this treatment just what's the word it just annihilates me it takes away my quality of life and i'm really sad about it mm -hmm. i don't know what we'll do obviously we'll talk to my team and they'll help us know the options but if you can hear my oxygen's going sorry i need it guys um all i can do is sit on my butt and do nothing I'm just heartbroken. You got a lot of combos going on. You know, you were just in the hospital for two days. You had a thoracentesis again. You had 950 milliliters of fluid pulled out. You're sore from that. Um, and treatment on top of all of that. So there's a lot that goes into it, but. <clears throat> I'm happy that we get to see the kids. Kyle is gonna go pick them up from my sister and Brad's house. I wanna see my sister too. I miss her, maybe she can come over tomorrow. Yeah. And help take care of me. She's a nurse, so she makes me feel better when she's here. I still can't like play with the kids or anything. So it makes me sad. We just have to treat you like a gentle butterfly, like we did after immunotherapy. And I think your last thoracentesis. We just gotta be careful around you and make sure you're okay. 
doesn't mean it's forever. Please pray, everyone. Please pray for us because this is terrible quality of life and obviously we're going to talk to our team and try to figure it out, but this is terrible. I just don't know what to do. I'm just heartbroken. Me too. Thanks for spending the day with me. Tracy, thanks for spending the night with me too. She left after Kyle got hit there this morning and then Kyle stayed for the rest of the day. Thank you, honey. I love you. I love you too. I'm gonna go so I can rest and see the kids and then I'll try to edit and get this up <laughs> maybe in the night when I'm in pain and can't sleep. Hey. I'll edit and get this up what? You're gonna have less pain and you're gonna sleep. Okay, I might sleep better because I don't have someone checking my vitals every couple hours and giving me medicine every couple hours. <clears throat> yeah. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you guys soon. Please pray and some positive thoughts. I love you. Bye. Hey guys, we are finishing editing this video and we are showing you that I get home on Saturday. After I got home, I napped for about five hours. My hand is kind of shaky because I'm holding the phone. I'm weak, so maybe you can. Um, I napped for about five hours. Then I woke up, walked to the bathroom to pee, had my heart racing and my heart was 90. 197 or 188 and my breathing was so short of breath I felt like I was gonna just stop breathing have a heart attack or my lungs were gonna stop I felt worse than the Thursday night we went in before or whatever night that was yep. and I we we oh, called in one one um, and I went right back into the hospital had to stay in the ER for a full day and a half yeah or something they did um, a catheter on me, which I told you guys about. They put in a catheter, a catheter in my lining of my lung to drain more fluid. They then drained more fluid on Tuesday. So I was there Saturday night, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I went home to City of Hope. Oh, you got transferred. Home, I mean <laughs> transferred it is like to City of Hope to be in the care of my team. And so I spent four days at city or four days at the other hospital, other hospital until I went to City of Hope. Now I've been here at City of Hope for a while. I'm going to keep posting update videos of my footage. So as of now, this is where we end. I end up going right back to the ER and stay for four more days or technically three more days. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Today we are on June 18th. 18th. So if that tells you where we're at, we're still in the hospital. <clears throat> but this was filmed previously. Yeah. Anything to add? No, that was it. All right. Yep. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Want to push it?